Hey there, Scorpio, it's Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to your general love reading for the month of August 2021. If you guys are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell twice, all right, so you get all the notifications. And a warm welcome back to my regular subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support and generosity. Uh, this channel would not be here without you guys, so much appreciation. So, for the love readings... Guys, I am reading for a lot of you, so just take what resonates, leave the rest, don't force anything to fit, okay? This love reading is intended for how you feel about the specific person on your mind, how that person feels about you, then the combined energy, and then some outcome cards, okay? If it makes more sense on the other side, since I'm reading more than one energy, obviously, then go ahead and flip it. There's no wrong way of doing that. Um, but do not force anything to fit, okay? And just because I'm pulling in August does not mean this is happening in August as well, because time's always moving, right? There's always massive amount of different timelines as well. So what I always say is pay attention to the storylines and the actions or if anything comes in there for giving you hints on different pathways and outcomes. But overall, you guys are always in charge, right? That's what free will's about. All right, and if you want something more private and personable, go in the description box below. That's the only way to book a private reading with me is through my website, so you can go there, okay? Please note that my private sessions or readings are really Harmonite sessions. They're an hour long. They're not short sessions, guys. I don't do them. Sometimes I do, but usually they're specials or something like that level for an occasion. Uh, but these are really healing sessions, but also they do involve cards as well. But it's an hour session, one-on-one -on -one session with me. And I highly recommend them for you if you are on the self-development and self-growth. Um, because, you know, as a psychic medium, a channeler, uh, my my job is also as a light, light worker is to be a healer. So it's very healing for you. All right, Scorpio, let's get started. Enough of me blabbing. All right, Scorpio, calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Scorpio in love. How is Scorpio feeling about the person on their mind? And how is their person feeling about them? And what is the combined energy? of these two, Spirit. Whoo! Scorpio. All right. Scorpio. Are you a little bit jaded? Are you the kind of person that are like, no, love is not for me, but yet here you are on a love reading saying, well, let me see what this is about? Because I feel like that's the kind of Scorpio I'm talking to right now. All right. So on your side of how you feel, we have touching earth, planting something new, but it is reversed. Okay. But I'm really seeing the number here of 12, which comes to a three. So it's about working together. All right. I feel for a lot of you, you have a closed heart. I feel like you're not looking for love, not looking to plant anything new, just focused on yourself. Um, but that's not a bad thing either. That's a very self-loving card that I feel here with touching the earth. I feel like you're really working on being grounded, what's important to you, what's important to you, having a relationship with yourself, getting to know yourself. It is an important step, but I feel right now you're not really looking for love. I don't. I don't feel like you're looking for it, all right? Now, on your person side, we have a nine. We have tenderness, true love, and compassion. Somebody's got a little bit of a crush on you, all right? Has the feels for you. And it feels like, it's almost like, you know, the fact that she's kissing a giraffe here. It's almost like you guys are too different. Like somebody's, and they're just saving this to me. Someone's either very, um, like you guys look very opposite of one another, okay? Someone could be very short, very, very tall, okay? But it's almost like, it almost feels like, You just look like not, you're, it's not a typical couple, right? You guys are a little bit opposite, okay? This person has a lot of love, a lot of compassion. It is very nurturing. I almost see this as kind of like a motherly card of like the queen of pentacles energy, earth energy. The fact that we have touching earth. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But this is someone who's very loving. This is someone who's very tender. 
and how they feel about you is that, okay? Now, in the middle, in the middle here, Scorpio, we got demonstrate love, find out what is important to those you love, and act on it. Hmm. I feel like you have somebody who's either expressed themselves or is very showy on their love, whether they're gift givers, whether they're the kind of person who is just intimate or physically touchy. Um, but I feel for you, you don't really show your feelings. And if you are into this person, this is the reminder to showcase and act upon them because you do have somebody here who's kind of like looks for actions to know if you are interested. So do not let this Scorpio be a missed opportunity. Some of you, this feels like it could potentially be a missed opportunity, right? But let's see what the tarot cards have to say. What is on Scorpio's side here? How's Scorpio feeling? Here we go. Ace of Swords. We have, <laughs> we have the Five of Swords reversed. We have the Star reversed. Man, you are blocking it. And the Eight of Cups. Uh-huh. On your person side, we have the Queen of Cups reversed. We have the High Priestess. Man, they know you're keeping secrets. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. And the Ten of Wands. The combined energy of you guys is the Six, <clears throat> the six of... Is it the Six of Wands? Oh, no, Six of Cups. <laughs> Couldn't even read that card. The higher font here. The Chariot. And we have the Hangman. Man, I'm stand still here. And there's Six of Cups energy. So you guys are soulmates. You guys have a relationship here. You see potential in this individual. I want to start with the outcome, like the middle energy of you both. Okay, let's start here, right? Six of Cups. You guys might work together. Or you just have something where it feels opposite or people um, see the connection. They actually think maybe you have friends guys who are like, why aren't you two together? What is going on? You obviously guys are a good match. It's equal. There's feelings here, there absolutely is. And with the higher font underneath this, to me, it feels almost like a commitment, okay? But I do feel like it feels more like friends or maybe you guys are counselors, meaning that you work together but it feels to me this level of with the, here, the fact that we have the chariot, something needs to move forward or something is on the miss of moving forward, okay? Um, but again, I'm also getting the chariot as possibly a missed opportunity, okay? If this person doesn't see actions from you, and this is a wake up call from you guys, and if you are interested in this visual, individual and you are playing the hangman, that hangman energy of trying to get a perception of if love is for you or if it's not, you might miss this opportunity. This person may move on. And maybe that's your fear. It's like, crap, if I don't do something soon, um, you know, I'm not sure if this person's going to stick around, okay? Now, this could be your, uh, your person as well, but it's definitely this need of moving on. Or I keep hearing someone might be moving a distance and that's something, something that might be holding off the relationship is that someone has potential to move away. Now, on your side, we have the Ace of Swords, which is all about the truth, being authentic, victory. But here's the thing, guys. You have the Five of Swords underneath this. Winning at all costs for what reason? For what reason? Why do you have this giant ego of a sense of like, uh, no, love's not for me. No, we're just friends. Because really, it's bringing you a lot of unhappiness. I do feel with the star energy that there's some healing here. I do feel like you've been burnt out in love, um, trying to work on yourself here. Your wishes and hopes and desires at one point was to have a loving connection. But I feel for a lot of you, you are weighted down with love, with the Eight of Cups. I feel like this person may have even opened up to you and you're like, eh, I don't know. It's not really for me. Love's not for me. Nope, love's not for me. But the star is reversed. And when I see the star is reversed, it's not saying that you don't want it at all. Even with the eight of cups here, I feel like you feel burdened by love. But the truth of the matter is you do see this connection with this individual. I do, I do feel like that's a connection with this individual. And even here with the swords, when you're looking at this, he's holding two swords, right? And another one, it's like you're creating your own heartbreak, interesting. And you're at a crossroads with the two swords underneath as to what decisions to make. Not having a clear decision of like, should I do this or should I not? 
Now your purse inside with the Queen of Cups, love, support, empathy. Now this is reversed. I feel like your person, how they feel is that you are hiding your emotions here with a high priestess energy. They intuitively know this person can be very intuitive here, especially with the Queen of Cups here. But how they feel is a little bit emotional about it, all right? Because the Queen of Cups reversed, and even though it's a queen, guys, we all have masculine and feminine energy. The Queen of Cups reversed can be a little bit explosive or overdramatic. Um, but I also feel like they're looking at the fact with the Wheel of Fortune that you see this heartbreak above this with the Wheel of Fortune reverse is they're not feeling a luck of a situation. Um, they feel spun around. They feel like you're picking them on the wheel. And this is just how they feel, guys. And if you go, well, no, I don't, that's not how they could possibly feel. This is their feelings, okay? Um, maybe they think that you are still looking for other things or other possibilities. But this person is like, this is like, just, is this going to lead to heartbreak? They're burdened by this, heavily burdened by this, okay? Um, actions are too, is that I do feel for some of them, your person is leaving, meaning that maybe they got a new opportunity or um, not an opportunity in love, but it feels like work related or they're moving. Maybe there's a distance involved with this, but the fact that they're walking in moonlight here, it almost feels this level of going towards the unknown. This person seems really intuitive though. Like I feel like with the high priestess energy, they feel the connection here. They're keeping quiet, even though they're having a lot of emotionals like emotional um overflow about this interesting all right let's see what the outcome cards are i'm going to be using the vice versa deck here scorpio i do not do reversals on there what is the outcome of this uh connection right now just for this month okay what's the outcome for here what do we have here spirit for scorpio and their person And there's that hang hangman again. We have the two of cups, interesting. We have the 10 of swords and we have Leo energy here with the strength card. Guys, even though this is at a standstill and that there's a loving connection here and there's that star again, this could bring a lot of heartbreak. This person is a divine connection. This person, even as gruff as you may be, wants to hear you say the words. <laughs> they do, they want to hear you say the words, right? How do you feel? Should this connection be anything more, right? Like they're not scared of you even as gruff as you are. Now this might be vice versa, but it feels to me, this could be a missed opportunity if this stays in this level, and I'm not going to be validating these anymore, but I do feel like you guys have a friend group or people are seeing you guys, you know, obviously the connections there, but there's obvious, there's literally Scorpio, an obvious connection here. This is divine. You guys have a really good partnership. You may work with each other, but it feels like, it feels like betrayal if somebody doesn't have the strength or the courage to speak up or show or act upon acts of service here, act upon their feelings for another person. This could be a missed opportunity if someone doesn't speak up, for sure. All right, Scorpio, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey guys, if you are on Facebook and you're not part of the Harmonia Friends Close Group, and you feel guided, go ahead and join us over there. It is a self-growth and self-development group. Or if you're just looking for a supportive tribe, we are your peeps for sure. And if you are a light worker like myself, I highly recommend you go over there because we love to collaborate with you. All right, you guys take care. See you next time.